get YouTubers. I did not think that I would be actually uh, making a new episode already since, you know, the first one I just recorded last night. But uh, here I am again. Uh, is it because I'm bored out of my mind? Maybe. Is it because I be doing, should be doing schoolwork? Well, for once, I've actually got all my schoolwork done for the moment being. It is the first week of classes, granted, but hey, I feel accomplished either way. But uh, like I said, welcome back. This is episode two of my Minecraft Let's Play. Welcome to Minecraft. And uh, we're basically going to pick up right back up where we left off last time in the lovely land of Blurga Splurb. Had to still think about that one for a second. And let's get the sucker loaded up here. Alrighty. Help! Oh, sheep! Hello, sheep! That was a wonderful introduction, but alrighty. Let's see, the last time that we left... Shut up, sheep. The last time that we left off, it was uh, nighttime was encroaching, and I retreated inside of my house here, and uh, once the obnoxious sheep stops doing his thing, uh, hopefully he'll get slaughtered by a zombie, even though... Okay. <laughs> even though that probably won't happen, unless uh, maybe you uh, installed a mod or something like that. Um... What I usually do at night, whenever I'm not taking maybe a high-risk stealth mission to, I don't know, get some wood that I desperately need or something where I'm just feeling spontaneous, and by spontaneous I mean incredibly stupid to go outside and just run from monsters and pick on creepers and stuff like that by getting close to them right before they explode and then just... Uh, basically block them from doing that. Um, I'm usually inside working on the house. I'm going to go ahead and start doing that again. Just kind of stop walking back and forth like a crazy head. But, um, yeah, I remember one issue from the commentary last time that I wanted to work on was the game audio. And uh, I don't know if it was just a setting that I had on EasyVid. Well, it turns out with EasyVid, it does not record the game audio, and my pick just broke. And that was one thing that I also forgot to mention in my uh, uh, pre previous video. Um, the things that you craft, almost every single thing that you craft, has a uh, sort of a health bar, which uh, represents how many times you can use the uh, object, say a pick or a shovel or something like that, before it breaks. Uh, you see, as soon as I started using my pick and I actually broke a stone, um, yeah, the health bar started to appear, and I hear something walking above me. I hope it's still that sheep. I don't hear anything else for the moment being. But um, anyhow, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting off track with the audio. Um, so you guys may have to suffer with my speakers, which is what I have on right now. I have it up. Um, if it turns out to be a little bit too obnoxious or not very clear sounding in this video, then uh, my apologies already. And I will just, I don't know if I'd find another way or another program to actually record the game audio and then mix that audio into the final video or something. Um, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um... You know, that is that, and ooh, I just kind of uh, open up to, looks like there's a, no, that's where I got the coal er earlier, I was about to say, there's a cave right under my house, um, and I got, I got excited there for a second, well, bummer, but, uh, okay, back to the, back to kind of clearing out some room here, um, hold on, I don't get too horribly OCD to this, but I prefer to have absolutely no openings in my house so nothing can hop through or heaven forbid a creeper can poke its head through the through it through the hole and uh, decide to um, rain explosives on my little parade here so <laughs> but uh, yeah so far uh, the house is looking fine uh, just one big square room what I really like to do with these places I like to make uh, almost like maze like structures like I tend to like make several branching out hallways and see if I can make the hallways like face um, eventually face like the outside of the structure and make room so I can look at the windows and stuff like that just in case if I want to entertain any uh man it, the lag is something else right now I thought my mod I thought the mod I downloaded was supposed to fix that but I don't know if it's just the easy bit or not it seemed to be running just fine last time or then again it could be all the monsters spawning outside. That could be another reason. So just uh, uh, bear with me here for a moment. And good golly, Ned's that lag. Hold on. I'm just going to look at the floor here for a second. 
to see if it orients me, but you know, thankfully this is a game that's not intensely action oriented. Ooh, I hear a spider. Um, that you can go out and kill stuff if you really want to, and sometimes it's completely you have to do that in dungeons or in uh, caves, etc. And sometimes I've had the unfortunate experience of monsters spawning in my own house because um, I didn't light it enough. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's, it's an adventure anyway around. That's like I was saying in the last video, you know, you really you really don't know what to expect whenever you're playing this game because it's uh, randomly generated every time. Um, you don't know what structures are going to come up, where the caves are going to be, and etc. and so forth and so on. And it's, 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 it's a different experience every time playing it. And another reason why I just enjoy this game so much. I've wasted many an hour that I should have been working on school or something else <laughs> on Minecraft, but um, really just some of the things that I see put out on the internet or, you know, on um, other webs websites of what people build with Minecraft is uh, absolutely astounding, to say the least. And I'm not going to try to keep hanging out in my house here all boring-like and stuff like that, but, I mean, well, you know, especially with this lag going on, but See, just looking at the floor, looking at the ceiling is my only respite. I have no idea why. Um, my computer may not have the best graphics card. That may be why. I still think it's a Java problem, personally. But um, once again, you know, my uh, area of expertise when it comes to that is kind of limited. I'm more of a uh, PC and uh, not even an enthusiast, more so of a dabbler. I'm more of a console gamer myself. You don't usually see me playing too many games on the PC, but uh, this one is definitely an exception, along with some of the uh, other ones, uh, aka uh, Pokemon emula emulators. Don't judge me, and I will not judge you, because Pokemon is a legitimate RPG. I enjoy it. The shows have gone way downhill, but uh, that's uh, <laughs> beyond the point. Alrighty. I'm going to designate this room... Ah, uh, maybe a temporary bedroom. I like to... I, I maybe I sort of think of like a medieval castle builder or something like that, and there's a black sheep at my door. I know you want in. I know you want to do black sheep at my door. Oh, you brought a friend! Well, you weren't invited to this party, that's why I built the door. So, I'm sorry. That's just how it goes. You can... Yeah, yeah, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Just, 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 just stop being obnoxious and take your garbage elsewhere. But um, I'm going to even this out just a little bit more. Um, but yeah, as I'm sitting here uh, building my luxurious estate here, um, if you guys like have any ideas or something like that, and like I said, I don't even know if my channel will ever get this popular or not. This is just more so of a personal whim that I wanted to make. Uh, start making these series. You know, it seems like everyone, their uh, second grandmother, has a, a Let's Play out there, and I figured, you know, why not? Not necessarily to sell out, but I think it would just be a lot of fun to do that. Unoriginal, maybe, but like I said, it's it's especially when it comes to the realm of video games, it's about fun and entertainment. That's it's um, that's just how it is, and uh, this is a game I enjoy, and I also enjoy rambling on like a bozo for. <laughs> hours and hours on end and so I figured I'd just uh, share that with you guys and if it gets uh, pestering uh, let me know I'll probably I'll still probably uh, ramble on about that as well but um anyhow I'm really praying that this lag will stop soon what time oh morning is breaking because I can hear a skeleton dying out there um, like I was telling you earlier in the last episode, uh, monsters come out at night uh, to do their horrible, wicked things. I personally still think that they're just uh, running an extor extortion racket and trying to um, get someone to pay some money. I don't know if it's me. That's why they're wanting to kill my character or not. But um, they come out at night, and most of the monsters, there are exceptions, unfortunately, such as spiders and creepers, will uh, die. Uh, whenever uh, they come in contact with the sunlight, it's kind of like they're almost uh, vampires in a sense. And I'm just kind of uh, moving along carefully here. Good golly, the lag. Okay, looking at the sky, it's all nice, but everything else is just absolutely wonky. I have no idea why it's so laggy. Um, I'm sorry, guys. This is probably 
Absolutely ridiculous. And like I said, if you have any... Oh, skeleton under the tree. Skeleton under the tree. Okay. I just crafted a sword. Let's see if I can take him down. Ah! Oh, he didn't get me. I thought he did there for a second, but I think he hit the block like right in front of me. He's going down! <laughs> Taste my steel oh, stone there, skeleton. <laughs> But yeah, when it comes to going out at night, I would not recommend heading outside the house without ample equipment, sword and armor. I think he did get me once. And um, I guess that brings me on to the next topic when it comes to good old Minecraft survival. And that is, um, you see the um, bar that looks like a bunch of uh, drumsticks, but it's beside my health bar. Um, that is your hunger, which should obvious, probably obvious enough. Um, over time, and especially as you are digging or um, fighting monsters, um, your hunger continues to deplete. And if it goes down to zero, you start losing your health. And uh, if you have, I can't remember if it's like more than two of uh, the drumsticks down, um, it's a herd of sheep over here. Um, if you have uh, more than two depleted, then your health will not restore. That's the thing in... Oh, it looks like a... <gasps> Whoa. Now, this is cool. Kind of a stone wall here. Like a nature... Nature's little fortress here. That's... Like I said, one of the things that I really love and admire about Minecraft is just like these beautiful, absolutely beautiful, um, randomly generated worlds. And, you know, you, you wouldn't think that they're beautiful because, you know, the graphical style, I, I admit it was kind of jarring coming from a next-gen... Um, console experience coming onto Minecraft. It's just like, you know, this is like, we're going back like two decades here with the graphics, you know, why is that? But as I played, and, well, and when I say as I played, I mean about five minutes into the game, that, that just, that concern just kind of flew out of my brain because the game is just so enjoyable and I feel like the style works. And I also feel like that the lag has gotten back to a sensible level. I'm thinking that what I, that what I was saying earlier, um, about, I almost lost my train of thought, um, the lag, yeah, that's what I was talking about, what I was saying about the lag, um, with the monsters being, with the monsters being the cause, I'm thinking that's, that was it, because when you get to a certain distance for, away from an area, uh, stuff will, uh, <laughs> uh despawn, I think that's the correct terminology, but, um, anyhow, and I'm just kind of running around in the woods right now, because I kind of got a little far away from my home, right now I'm, uh, I'm going on a little hunting trip so I can maybe find some cows or some pigs so I can uh, whack them and serve them up home style. But uh, yeah, so far I'm just kind of aimlessly wandering the wilderness and I'm starting to starve about halfway down my hunger bar. So <laughs> I hope this is not being a total snooze fest to all you lovely YouTubers out there, but um, I think I'm actually getting back on the right track because I'm getting near my spawn point. Hello, sheepies. You just ate something of grass. I don't know, sheep could do that. But, uh, let's see, I remember this ice patch. Yeah, we'll make our way up here. I'm thinking that I'm heading back in the right direction. I ah, know. Okay, no. Talk about back, being back in the same place as I was before. Ah. Okay. If at all possible, if I get lost for too long, then I'm just gonna probably start recording again whenever I get back to my house. We'll see. I feel like I'm in the right area, but this... What I try to do when it comes to Minecraft is, you know, I try to set... Oh, here we go. Here's my house. Um, I try to set, like, a... La uh, keep landmarks in my brain. Um, just so I don't get horribly lost, but a lot of this... Uh, <laughs> I guess you can call it... Uh, no? These are spruce, which means I guess in real life they're fur, so I guess they're coniferous instead of deciduous. Um, we're whipping out some biology on you people. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot. The, the landscape looks very similar in this area. It's kind of like a tundra. I guess that's the name of this particular biome. But um, I'm actually seeing a, a jungle right next to a tundra. That's, that's another thing that I love about this game is that the sheer, the sheer, um, not making sensitude. <laughs> I had the word, but it faded for me. But, um, 
another thing that's awesome about Minecraft is the diversity of the environments. Like right here, I'm going to see if I can get this coconut so I can get uh, cocoa beans from it. And with cocoa beans, and if I can find some wheat, I hear a spider, so I'm going to get my sword ready over here. Um, if I find some wheat to go along with that, and I will be able to make cookies, which are um, kind of a quick fix sort of meal instead of like something that's more substantial. But um, and I am still slowly dying, and oh, oh, sweet mother of mercy, it's some, it's some uh, reeds, which is not what I need. Actually, I need wheat. I said I needed wheat. <laughs> I got my hopes up. Never mind. <laughs> I'm getting all turned around. Sheep, why can't you have lamb chops instead of your wool? I'm just going to attack you out of aggression anyway. At least you got experience points, but those won't matter when I'm dying of hunger. Should I just go back to my house and starve? Because all I'm seeing are sheep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the next goal after you make a house. Like, I used to play Minecraft whenever it was at a lower version when food was just a uh, served as a uh, health restorative um mean it wasn't necessarily something that was required in gameplay but um i think that i think it was really cool that they added this <coughs> excuse me feature into minecraft because it um you know it forces you to really go out and explore and try to find some stuff and hopefully i'm not going to get myself horribly lost but if i get myself horribly lost and find some food then you know i'm not going to be sitting here well dying you're not going to see any farm animals in the desert at least i wouldn't think so so i am starving to death there are no pigs no cows i might just kind of go home and die and it's snowing. Oh, man. This is not good. I wonder if there's an option where I can start eating my own little stubby hand. Or I could find a zombie and feast on its flesh or something. I don't know. Wish I could eat the cocoa beans. Oh, can I? No, not in their form like this. Well, fart. Yep. And I'm slowly starting to take damage. So, ow. I am going to go back to my house and die. <laughs> That's terrible. It's just like, you know, I'm stuck out here in the middle of the wilderness with uh, no food. Because um, these sheep, for whatever reason, do not give off lamb chops, or at least the sheep that I've been trying to kill. And I'm trying to get back to near my spawn point at least, or somewhere near, near my house so I can get my stuff and it won't be all strewn about on the floor and everything like that. Oh my gosh, a skeleton! Oh no! Oh no! Yep, it's all over but the crying here, folks. I think that this is Chadwick's final hour right here. I don't know if I'm going to stop the video right here, but yep, death is knocking. It's knocking, and I'm dead. No, now I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead! Just kill me now. Or is it letting me hang on this one little half a heart? And is it nighttime? I guess so. It's uh, it's hard to tell with some of the weather. I'm going to keep away from the spider. I wonder if I can eat its eye. I guess? I don't know. I'm horribly lost. What is that? What it... Oh my gosh, it's a gold-plated zombie. Oh, good golly. It has It's covered in butter. Go away! Zombie flesh. Well, it's something. I feel terrible. I feel like a cannibal, but it's the only way. Desperate times call for desperate measures, they say. Oh, gosh. And it's going to make me sick, but it, it's up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Here comes the spider. I'm probably going to die and lose everything I just did. The zombie meat has made me sick. Dying will be the easiest thing that I do today. I'm completely lost in the middle of this tundra. Oh, man. I have no idea what I'm doing. And there's a creeper over there. Oh, crap. 
my apology my apologies to you guys who are watching this video. I am horribly please don't tell me this is my house. Yeah. I've actually found my house. Wow. Okay. That was an ordeal and a half, and there's a zombie coming after me really quickly. If I could just get inside my house. <sighs> Go away! Okay. And I'm going to show you here what the example is. Zombies can actually break through your doors if you're not... And he's just kind of standing... Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Okay. So I have been cornered into my own house by a zombie and a skeleton. I'm hanging on for dear life here with uh, only half a heart to my name. I'm going to list it out for the door, and I'm just going to start mining it. Yeah, yeah, never mind. It sounds like the he's wanting blood. And he's messed up. And he's just... Oh, Mary, oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry. I will... I promise you, my fellow YouTubers, that I will be quoting a lot of bad lip reading on here. Because I do it on a daily basis. Bad lip reading. If you haven't, if you have not subscribed to that channel and laughed and earned the laugh of your lifetime, then uh, I highly recommend that you do so. Bad lip reading is probably one of the most hilarious channels that I've ever, ever seen. they the way that they uh, do their dubs is absolutely superb and genius. So uh, I heavily recommend it. Go ahead and check it out. But um, enough of my advertising. Um, yeah, I maybe got about two more uses with this pick. Um, and I'm hearing all sorts of disgusting sounding noises out there. And there goes my pick. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and craft a new one. That is, I'm just praying that the skeleton doesn't snipe me through the doorway. That's happened to me way too many times. Alrighty. I'm going to craft that. Alright. But what else I'm going to craft even though I don't, don't have meat to show you guys. Another part of Minecraft, like I said, when it comes to getting food, even though I'm still starving to death, I'm being a horrible example, I'm probably being a horrible example, and you guys are probably like, you know, what the crap is he doing? He's just running around like an idiot. But, um, you know, I just couldn't find any food. Um, pigs and cows are the biggest sources of food. Um, if you would just want to go out and start killing random farm animals, um, but you can also fish, and you saw that I kind of went disturbingly cannibalistic there. You can eat the zombie flesh, anything to keep you alive. But, you know, there's a risk by eating raw food. A lot of times you have to put one of these puppies in a uh, furnace. And, uh, you know, you right-click. You use the right-click. When your interface left-click left -click breaks down stuff, right-click uh, uses the item. And what you do is you put a coal or wood in here, and there's a zombie at my door, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and fend him off real quick, if you do not mind. Or die! You know, that will work too. Go away! Alrighty. But as, <laughs> as, I, was, I, was, as, a, as I was saying... You can just uh, put a piece of coal or a piece of wood in there, and you can uh, cook. You can cook food. You can smelt ores, which I'll definitely be getting to in later videos whenever I decide to dig tunnels down to the center of the earth. Um, but and yeah, just I'm just keep on rambling. I'm rambling and I'm starving, <laughs> and it's nighttime and there's all sorts of scary creatures outside. <laughs> and I'm just kind of screwed six ways a Sunday, so. I hate doing this, but I have to eat more of this disgusting zombie flesh. I'm sick, and I'm only hungrier. But, um, anyhow, I think this will be a good place to stop the episode for now. I'm sorry, this one was a little bit more haphazard than uh, the other one. Um, I felt like I was a little bit more all over the place, but then again, you know, I have a bad tendency to overanalyze, so, you know... This, like I said, this is just purely for fun, and if you guys have any suggestions or anything of that sort to make, uh, make them in the comments, please do so respectively. And, uh, you know, I want to treat you guys with respect, and I hope that you would give me the same in return. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and also for those of you who watched my first episode. I greatly appreciate that. I was really surprised I actually got a like or two in the first, like, few hours that I put it up. So I was, uh, I was really psyched to see that. But uh, anyhow, yeah, that's uh, that was my Minecraft adventure for to, for today. So hopefully, next episode will be a little bit more informative and a little bit less of me getting lost and running around like a maniac. But 
Alrighty, this is White and Nerdy Man, aka Chad, and I'm signing off.